Every now and then, especially when I'm swapping around different wood species, I do not cut all the way through my wood. And instead of just tossing it and getting a new piece, I am going to use Lightburn's print and cut feature in order to do another cut over this to make sure I can still use and salvage this piece of hickory. So if you haven't used this before, it's a lifesaver, I'm gonna show you. First, to make sure that it wasn't my machine, I did check the alignment of my mirrors and that the nozzle was square to the laser bed and it was all perfect. So it definitely is my settings and I'm gonna adjust that for next time. The first thing that you'll wanna do is put your material onto your laser bed and then focus your material. Focusing the laser beam on one point in your artwork will allow you to send the coordinates of that exact point on your laser bed over to your computer so it can figure out how to recut your work. Now there's a couple tips I have here in order to make sure that you have the exact point that you need. The first thing that I usually do is come over to the laser panel and get the speed button and turn down the speed of the nozzle that is on the gantry so that it can move slower into the exact spot that I need. From there, I follow the path of the laser beam to go to a corner in the artwork that is a little bit easier to find. You can see on the wood right now, it's bright, and I'll zoom in because when I know I get to that point, that light will dim and it'll give me a good idea that I am in the right spot. Right about there. So now over here in Lightburn, I need to pick the two places where I'm going to send the coordinates from the laser bed to the software. Over where that green dot is, is where my laser is currently positioned. And there I am going to create a crosshairs so that I can tell my laser when it's time that that's where I want it to go. One of the neat features that Lightburn has is that when you drag and drop the crosshairs over to the corner, it'll automatically lock into place. Next, I'm going to change the color of the crosshairs so that I can turn that layer off when I go to recut it. Then I'll hit Command D to duplicate it and drag it to a second point on the artwork that I'm trying to cut. From trial and error, I learned that doing so on a point that's not in a straight line is probably the most accurate way to do it. So I'll simply paste that crosshairs and then lock it into place. Now it's time to launch the Print and Cut Wizard. With the first crosshair selected where your laser is currently positioned, then go ahead and click Laser Tools Print and Cut Wizard. Then click on Set First Target Position. Just make sure that the actual laser beam is pointing to that position on your laser bed. Then you can click on the second crosshairs to make that active and reposition your nozzle from there. Don't forget that you can always adjust the speed in order to get greater precision and accuracy for the Now cut. on my computer, I'm going to select these crosshairs right here and then click second target position. I'm then also going to click on align outputs with no scaling. That means that what I have on my screen is exactly where I want it on the laser bed. Now the file is all set up and ready to go. So I'm going to make sure to turn off that crosshairs layer so it doesn't engrave or score on my final piece and send it over to the laser. And voila, I got my cut perfect the second time. And if you think that this tutorial has been helpful for you, make sure that you follow along for more tip talks and head on over to YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful that I get to work with you guys every day.